Hey guys, welcome back. Feel blessed this morning. The sun is up. Nice and warm. Hope everybody is doing okay. Drink some Cersei tea this morning. Real good. Yes, I feel really blessed this morning. I have to give God thanks. And just keep working. I just want to thank you the subscribers especially the new subscribers have reached 1000 subscribers yay me i'm moving up so the plan for today is i'm gonna make some steel cage for the beams the revealing beams that will be supported by the columns only so that kind of steel cage make a little different the stirrup them have to go a little closer you can make it 8, you can make it 6 depending on the span of the beam so that's what I'm going to work on this morning cut up some steel and let's get into it A beam is a horizontal structural member in a framed structure that transfers the load from the slab to the columns that support the beam at its ends. Alright, so we want to measure from column to column and this is 90 and then we are going to bend it about 4 inch, 4 to 5 inch, so at about 95 inches Because we have to tie it on the steel cage, we have to build it from steel from cage to cage. Then on the steel cage, and this is about four, one, four, 114, so 95 and 114, that's about 209, and plus we have an extra for the bend, about 45 inches again, so that's a 214, yeah. So we have cut four pieces of steel, 214. The length of the steel is how much? So I cut it about 17 foot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 inches. And we have to double check and measure it over back and make sure it works. So in time I cut the steel, because that's the size of one baby. It's about 17 foot 8 inches. Forty 
Yes, manual power again. I'm so hard, I so me always bend it about two inch from the front with the first bend. You don't carry it all the way up in the neck to choke it. Put it over, put it on the nail, or the 16th, from here to the ear, so. Put it this way. The nails are dead and I'm bringing them to you, but that no matter. Now I'm bucking this time. straight down again you have to slant and slant you know so that this stirrup now pull out and tear down your building so this is our 84 length steel cage and we are going to put the stirrup them 8 inches apart so you divide that out and you get about 10 so we need 10 store up for this steel cage One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. So you want to put the first one 8 inch from the front and then the next one 16 8, 16 24 and so on and so forth 32 Alright, so let's pop this baby up and I don't know how to tie the steel already, right? Find an easy way to see the body, you know. So, you know me like to make this turn down. Bottom one, top one turn down and the bottom one then turn up. Guys, remember, subscribe. Check the subscribe button if it's gray or if it's red. If it's red, just click it and make it gray. Really appreciate it. This is a much shorter one than the last one you had to put in. <laughs> Don't say that. This is a lot of work. I say every way.
grade level. <laughs> so this cord line is to a what? You get the steel straight. It's a going there now. Nope. And that way it's a nope too. I'll just want to I'm thin there. Somebody broke my level. Hmm. I found me of them something, eh? and if I get a new one, I probably can find the piece and just glue it on, crazy glue it. You find the piece and crazy glue it. So, eyeball in the card line. Stop shit, no? So this so and that is this I'm going straight down so the card line level so this over here so now that not really level so if I drop down the side a little bit and get it level okay so I put a line on it raise it a little so it level this wall not dead level, so we can't follow the wall line. So, put the line on it. Now, usually, you box up these areas, these beams, when you have no support, the only support from end to end. You box them up, and then you put the beam, the steelwork inside. But right now, it's all about preference and me only have steel them right now, I have the board them for box up, so I just do what I can. So, the middle now, when I board it up, the middle, I'm going to just come up to the line. Put a stone underneath it and bring it up to the line. So, we finish up some more steel work now, make some more cages. question I always get on my videos is oh my I always sound so tired yep because I start working before I start recording
Continuous beam is going to go here, straight across to there, and then wrap around the building. And because it's going to only be supported by columns, I have to add some additional reinforcement. So the side face beam is going to go on this side, and then the bent up beam is going on the other side. And that will help to transfer all of the load. So Trying to finish up cutting off the scantilever. So there's many different kind of beam. So a lintel, this lintel here is a beam and that help transfer load as well. So one other question that I was asked is why may I have to use such a strong beam for just over a window so why we use beam over a window and not just lay a black straight across because them have a lot of different technique for the lintels but what you don't understand is that there's going to be a lot of weight coming down and if you don't have a good lintel a good strong lintel to support the weight over your window the glass in your window will be cracking all the time so when you see a window and the glass crack, the, all of the weight come down on the window and crack the glass. So that's why we in Jamaica always use a box and cast lintel for all up all of the weight. The weight of the roof, the weight of the upstairs, there's going to be a lot of weight on this house. So we have to make it as strong and as sturdy as we can. I want to take the opportunity to big up Wayne Grant. Um, start a GoFundMe. He have a wheelchair. He want to repair. He have it for a few years now. He met in an accident. Great supporter. He have a channel now. I'll put him channel down in the description. Very inspiring youth. 
Um, just want to know, go over to him channel, watch him video, hear him at say, and just if we can donate, we just donate to him, and we're very grateful for that. So thank you for watching, guys. We're gonna have to split this video in two parts. Video is getting too long, so remember, do what you can when you can, and we'll see you in the next one.